G'day lookers, welcome to another episode of Just Gone Looking. At the moment we're standing at the top of Hilux Hill, got the old Hilux track and the new Hilux track behind us, and this weekend we're at Land Cruiser Park. It's Labor Day long weekend guys, we're here Saturday and Sunday night. Stick around and we'll show you the park. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> YouTube channel just gone looking. Yeah. Rightio lookers, here we go. Episode four. No, episode five. Land Cruiser Park. Um, oh, I'm so excited about this episode. I've been wanting to go to Land Cruiser Park for like 15 years, just never been able to get there. Um, and that's the beauty about weekend of series. It's sort of the driving force between making sure you get out there and experience those things. Um, the weather is not the greatest. It's been overcast and showers, uh, but we're not going to let that worry us. Uh, we're going to hook in anyway. Um, my my opinion, we've got a ripping episode to show you. Uh, heap of new gear. If you've been watching since episode one, um, I've been talking about the uh, ARB Skydome swag um, on the stretcher to get me off the ground. Uh, I've finally got that, so we'll set that up and let you know how that goes. Shane's got his new rooftop camper on the back of his tub that you might have seen at Fraser Island. We did the little walkthrough, um, and he's even got a, a fridge in the back of his uh, tub as well now, which we'll show you. We've um, got some awesome dinners to cook. Uh, we've just got sheer determination to have a fire on this episode. We've been trying for so long. Um, so even if it's raining, we're going to do a little cooking fire underneath the gazebo. Um, and we went all in. Uh, and sort of didn't bring any backup food for the gas cooker just to make sure we made we uh, forced us to have a fire and and, uh, and cook from uh, cook some good food with the camp oven and on the spit. So yeah, I'll spin you around in a second um, and we'll show you on the GoPro on the dash here the sort of the trip out and um, sort of awesome trip through the mountains here. Um, and then uh, yeah, we're about 35 minutes away from from Land Cruiser Park and um, yeah, just pumped. I'm so pumped about this episode and this trip. It's going to be good. Um, and yeah, we hope you enjoy Land Cruiser Park. Here we go. You. Land Cruiser Park is a wilderness camping and four-wheel drive park located about two hours north of Brisbane. The park offers unrestricted camping on the property, but also has four main camping areas which include basic amenities. Campfires are allowed, and the park is also dog-friendly. Once you check in, you'll be given a map to help you navigate the areas. Going through the mountains, beautiful trip out here, guys. It's um, just picturesque.
So we just uh, we just checked in. Uh, we've got to sign in and out with the vehicles. Got our tags, got our got our maps, got everything ready to go. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a pretty cool cruising around trying to find a spot for us. Um, it's a pretty big property. I think it's around 10,000 acres. Um, we'll get some more information on it and chuck it in the bio. Um, yeah, for now uh, we'll get out. I think we'll find a spot and set the uh, gazebo up first because that'll probably take a bit of doing. It's a larger gazebo. Yeah. Um, then we'll have to start the fire straight away so we can. Uh, Get some we start getting ready. Get some coals cranking for the uh, cook up. For the cook up. <laughs> I think it's a spit tonight, so yeah. I'll tell, I didn't tell them about the food earlier. I just said we got a heap of good food to cook, so um, we'll do a little little cooking show. Yeah. I think each night. Hopefully the rain stays away. It's pretty nice at the yeah, moment. No got, rain, so it's gotten a bit better now, but I can't wait to rip in. Looks beautiful. Let's see how we go, eh? Hey. Let's do it. Let's do it. You. The spot you reckon? This side's just definitely got JGL written all over it. But the massive pipe here that they've sort of dug around out around it too. But there's a sneaky little spot just over there with a couple of fire pits we can get in a little nook. It looks right down on the creek. Pull up and this. Have, pull up and have a look at. Huh? Finally set up, eh, Shane? Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Shane has got the fire cranking. Um, just set up the sort of kitchen area. I'm just about to start cooking, but um, while Shane's getting the fire ready for the spit, I'll take you around the campsite and uh, give you a quick look. I reckon we've got a mint spot, eh? Oh, it's awesome. Awesome spot. Yeah, spot. just um, real close to the, the uh, cow falls. Yeah, the falls there and the, yeah. and the amenities just um, across the paddock there. Yeah, so we'll give you a shot of the map later on and show you. Um, where all the, the there's main campsites about three or four main campsites that have got torts and sh hot showers um, So this is Cowa Falls. I'll correct that later if we're wrong um, And we went in and there's a few people parked in there and it, it sort of turned us off a little bit because we wanted to be a little bit isolated But then we came back out and found this nice little spot just in an open sort of grassed area um, And found a little fire pit well actually two fire pits and then it sort of backs onto this creek down there, yeah. Awesome sort of creek. So we've got our own little sort of nook on the side um, which is a little bit private, which is good. Um, out into the big grass area. Sorry about the bin bag right in front of us there. Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll uh, take you around and get a little have a quick look. For the spit. Walk us through it, Shane. Uh, yeah, so we got we started a fire earlier. So I'm just going to start a little fire here um, to uh, get some coals going for the spit later on. So we've got some. Um, so we're some using those caro. Yeah, we're using those caro fire lighters but what do you got there they're just the um the natural ones no chemicals in them so they seem to be working okay when oh. i can uh, light the match so i've got these uh novelty oversized matches here let's see if we can get that going it's a bit windy um but yeah we'll see if we can uh light this up they seem to work okay they're not they don't work quite as good as the uh kerosene ones but they seem to do the job So yeah, we'll just get um get this little fire happening and uh, get it ready for the spit later on. Yeah, so we got the uh, electric spit there. It's just the one from BCF, I think it was. Uh, we're going to be fighting the weather. Um, it's it looks like we've got a window here, but we need to cook for about three hours with the roast I've got, which I'll show you later. We are absolutely sheer determination to get this fire going and cook underneath it or over top of it. Sorry. Yeah, so Shano's kick along now. Looks like that might bite. Yep. So once he gets that one going, I'll uh, start preparing the uh, the roast and then we'll cook over that sort of fire on the side there uh, with the main fire going there. I'll take you back out and just show you the, sort of the full picture. It's just an absolutely cracking spot. 
I knew I've been wanting to come to Land Cruiser Park as I said before for so long and I'm glad we did because it is just a just an absolutely magical spot yeah so we got this sort of little nook in the corner here just near the main road sort of cuts off so no one can really camp beside us down into a creek section there So let's change the new rooftop. As I said, he'll take you through it tomorrow. He's got his new King's fridge on the slide there. I'm jealous as. Can't wait for my canopy so I can get my fridge set up. So this is the other side of the campsite here. It's sort of the kitchen cooking area, food preparation area. And then I've just sort of got my bedroom at the back here. Um, I'm just, I am just super pumped about this swag and stretch of setup. I can't wait to get in it. Um, I've wanted this for so long, as I said, I've been talking about this since episode one. Um, and it's just, it just looks like such a crack and sleep tonight. I've um, got the vents open. It's up off the ground. I mean, I've even got me own little cheeky fire, fire pit here. So I'm going to have a little old, own little Perso fire tonight. Um, and then just, if I can swing you around the view when I wake up the end of that creek is just going to be beautiful can't wait yeah so that's a little quick tour of the campsite and we'll start preparing some food change got the fire going under the spit away we go roll roast pork on the spit bloody ripper yeah um, finally got the uh, spit going finally got the spit going we yep. might have to move it underneath but we're, we're cooking on it it's only care. taking us five episodes I don't care, but <laughs> I don't care if we've got if the fire's going to be in me swag it's going to be cooking a roast I know that yeah um, yeah, so I just pulled the rice out of the, out of the esky before, let it sort of cool down to sort of ambient temperature, towelled it off, or you know, paper toweled it off so it's all dry. Cut some slits in it, now I'm just salt, salting it. Just get all the salt rubbed down into the... How long is this going to take, mate? Oh, about three hours, I reckon. Um, and then you just sort of get it going, get it down on the, uh, on the flame so it gets the crackling nice and crisp and then let the fire go down to coals so it just sits over top of the coals and cooks for about three hours. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I might drive him in. Yep. Turn him up. Beautiful. Right on. If we want to swing around here. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to whack it on. So we'll whack it on, and if we need to move it, we'll transfer the coals over into that little um, just grab this. there. That way at least it's set, and then we just have to move the spit. Yeah. Put the can away on. Yeah, we need to lower it down, eh? Yeah, I think we're going to end up moving it. Yep. It's getting heavier. Okay. How far down do you want to go? Go right down to the flame, so get it rotating and then we'll leave it out here for a bit. Yeah. I think that's in properly. I kick her in the gut. Might uh, get some coals in that other one ready, hey? Just in case it starts raining and we gotta change it over. Right, our plan B, um, it started raining a bit, so we've had to move the roast pork over here um, into this uh, secondary little fire pit we had ready under the gazebo. So we just transferred some coals down there and um, just set it up under the gazebo here. We'll keep it nice and low. Hey. And uh, hopefully it gets hot enough to cook it. I don't care in. what, like, I don't care if we're here all night. Yeah. We're, that, we're eating that roast yeah, cooked yeah. on that fire. No, we'll get there. We'll get there. That's camping. It's going all right. So uh, yeah, hopefully 
gets enough heat in there, lower it down a little bit and um, it will be fine. Turbo for some salad. A little bit of salad, a bit of salad with some Italian dressing, and then that pork. Yeah, I think it's come up all right. Plating up. Plating up. Like a Michelin chef. So you pre made this salad, huh? Yeah, just chopped up a little bit of this, a little bit of that. How do we do? Finally, it's only hey. taken us four months. We finally cooked some a pork roast. Not bad. On the spit. You've done well, mate. Well done. We had to, we had some challenges. Had some rain. Had to move it underneath, but about two hours on the spit, you reckon? Uh, probably two and a half ish. Two and a half hours on the Up spit. Up and down, yeah. There we go. Roast pork and salad. We're going to tuck into dinner and then we're going to sit around the fire and have a couple of drinks and um, we'll catch up with you in the morning. Yeah. Bit of a toasted uh, bacon and egg muffin for yeah. breakfast. Shane's cooked up a rip and brekkie. Over the fire. Awesome. Um, we're going to try and get the uh, campfire outside of the gazebo going again this morning to keep the coals going for cooking this afternoon. Yep. And we might shoot off uh, exploring around the trails. What do you yeah. reckon? A little bit of housekeeping to do first. Shane spotted some, some uh, tins and, and beer bowls and that down sort of near the creek, so we're going to pick them up. So done our little part, always you make sure you leave it better than when, when you got here. Um, then we'll do a bin dump at the, at the, they've got wheelie bins up near the toilets up there. Might let the tyres down to about 28 or 30 psi and then we'll have a look at the map and pick out some medium tracks and, and go and have some fun and hopefully get some good footage. Show you a bit of Land Cruiser Park. Yeah. These, these, these being these man, they ripping. Pretty good, hey? They're good. Well done. Yeah, so, we'll so, yeah. so I reckon we go, so we're here, right? Wouldn't mind going past checking out the other main campsites just for future reference. Yeah, that's what, what they look like. And I reckon, because we've got to probably steer clear of all the red stuff. So I reckon if we try to sneak down into this area, we could just cruise around for a while and then see if we can find those water balls. G'day, mate. Uh, lost his number plate in that last water crossing. What are you done, mate? I'm running the fast. How'd that come off? Mm -hmm. 
need a washer for this one, eh? Hey? Fan right up, did it? Yeah. So we're just here we uh, in the intersection of um, uh, Pig Pen yeah. and Jim's Jump Up. Jim's Jump Up in the Pig Pen. So we'll um, we'll keep moving down down the green here into Hawkins Road. Yeah. Uh, along here, we'll go explore up around the. Yeah, I, I reckon if we come down here and play around in all this orange stuff, yep. maybe check out those frying pan falls. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Yeah, mate. Bit too muddy, you reckon? It's hard to tell, eh? Yeah, it looks like a little dam that's all sort of flowing in. Like a, I don't think I'm equipped to deal with really soft black mud in there. Well, um, we're, we don't have my truck to pull us out either, so. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. Um, you're right, you're on track there. Just keep coming down. Hug your right a bit more, yep. Keep going, keep coming. Yep, left a bit. Yep. Follow that down slowly. Yeah, that's pretty much perfect there. I left a little bit more. Yep. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep, you're right. All right, let's have a look at the map and see where we are, eh? So we must be, we must be here somewhere now. That's Horseshoe Bend. I reckon if we follow this back around, we're probably going to find a sign. Yeah, we might just have to drive. Yeah, drive around through to find a sign. I think we're on the other side now. It's more low. Right, so 60 series highway. We'll take us back over to where we want to go. Excellent. Good shot. Well done. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. This may be right at park. Yep, stop. That's it. Straight up. Yep, you're on the track. Good job. Come on, Chad. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. past the Gums camping area, so back up to Diaper, and then we'll come back around to our campsite. So these are the, uh, the other main campsites on the property. Yeah. So this is the Gums camping area, it's got a little BMX truck in there. Um, it's got some toilets, showers, um, not a bad little spot. What was the other one called back there with the better tool? Uh, oh, so this is Tracker Terrace here, that, yeah. that was gone. Oh, so this is, this is Tracker this Terrace. Is tracker terrace. Yeah. but you can see it, but this is where all the hill climbs are. That looks insane. Some super, super steep uh, hill climbs there.
duck back out for an hour or two before, before we park it for the afternoon and night. Um, just a little bit more forward driving. Um, try to go down to the bottom side of, of the park. Um, we're at the top end of the park before and do some little bit, little bit better hills than you just saw. Steep at the start and then it should even out. Steep descent and then it should even out. Right, so we're on uh, Frying Pan Road. Um, it's a it's an orange trail which is intermediate um, difficulty and it's a bit of a steep descent here. So I'm just gonna let Tim. Can't see around the corner. Yeah, just let me get down here. Oop, nearly fell over. It's a steep drop there. To, uh, fall down the mountain <laughs> nearly lost me. Yeah, you look pretty good there. Uh, it's a big dip on your right. So we're looking for frying pan full. So we've we've come right down frying pan road here. And we've turned left so frying pan falls should be around here somewhere so maybe it's a walking track what do you want to tackle next oh let's go high like so are we yeah and up old Hylax Hill. Sounds good. Try a little red there. And then... The Hylax getting on the red tracks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's give it a go, eh? <laughs> it's slippery.
So on the top of the mountain here, this is actually old Hilux Hill and new Hilux Hill, I believe. And they, these are red tracks, so these are the, the difficult ones. Um, we're gonna have a quick look and see if we can get down one of these. Because if not, we're gonna get all the way around a long way, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> not sure about this, but um, we'll see. We'll have a look and see how we go, eh? Yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but them hills are steep. Bit worried about the uh, the tra the traction situation, hey? I don't think I want to go down them. Yeah. I give it a crack going up This one I think is the le is the the least steep out of them because it curls around like that. Yeah. But. Uh, if you start sliding, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I'm, I'm nah. Yeah, look, definitely, um, definitely a bit too steep, I think, eh? Oh, I just, to, just not, I don't want to, just don't want to do the descent. I think it's a bit sketchy. Yeah, we can't see another way. Anymore. Right, so we might go around. We might go around that green chart, do the, the long way back then. Yeah. Alright. So, a little bit of an adventure. Yeah. Some good, good drone footage. A couple of, I'm going to call them modest to medium tracks. The Hilux did well, actually. There we go, yeah, all factory Hilux, a little bit, of, little bit of wheels and a little bit of tyres. And it's making a few more noises than it was when we came out here, but she did well. What's on the menu for tonight? No. Yeah? You know? um, I'll have to, uh, we right here. Once we get through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah so dinner? So they're pork. Um, I'll have to get exactly what they are, but they're pork uh, spare ribs. I've got a rack of ribs. Uh, I'm going to do it in, a, in an onion and hickory sauce broth for about three hours. Um, I have to give a shout out to Matthew Fox. Foxy, a legend, absolute bloody legend, because um, he's cooked both these meals before, and I'm sure I'm going to do them wrong and he's going to let me know about it, but. I'm not too sure what ribs he used last time, but, but um, he did them up a treat. He used, used some sweet baby rays, hickory sauce. I'm using a different type of sauce tonight. Couldn't get the sweet baby rays on, but, but um, yeah. So shout out to Foxy, thank you, mate, for those great ideas. Um, yeah, and that's it. that's what's going on for dinner. Got a bit of potato salad to put with it as well. Should be good. Hopefully, the tire's still going. Yeah. Not get it cranking and get some coals going on. It's actually the first time we've cooked for this camp oven. Yeah. <laughs> Look it's, good. it's gonna be a bit troll and error. Hey. Back at the campsite, um got the fires cranking again. Um Tim's getting the uh, camping stove ready. And uh, yeah, it's turned out to be a good afternoon. The rain stopped. Nice and cool. The wind's dropped down, so. Got some yeah. excellent looking cooking coals there. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it'll be a good afternoon. Looking forward to, uh, yeah, just chilling out and having some good food around the campfire. My God.
Successful fire mission. Mm -hmm. We did well. So what's the plan for this morning? Pack up. Best part of the trip. Uh. Are we going to go for a walk and have a look at that thing? Yeah, right? we can. I'm worried that it's going to be the same as the waterfall we saw yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit easier. Let's go. I'd, I'd, I reckon pack up first, get everything ready, leave the cars here and then go for a trek. Yeah. That's ridiculous, man. Can we see that one more time? So good, eh? Have a look at that. Wow. Packed up the campsite, did the bin run. Now we're just going for a track to see if we can find the Cowell Falls. And uh, that'll be it for the trip. And we'll sign out. Yeah. Nimble like a cat. You can see it, you can hear people out there, eh? Yeah, some of them swimming out there. Look at the big gorge. Spent the last year training in parkour. So, we'll be okay out here. Wow, look at that. How's it going? What a spot. Another gem, hour and a half away from home. Beautiful. Thanks for joining us again, lookers. I can't believe it's episode five already. Uh, we've had a ball here at Land Cruiser Park. I don't think the video did it justice, so we'll have to come at it again. Guys, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like and subscribe. We're gonna hang out here at Cower Falls and uh, enjoy the scenery. We'll see you next time.
<laughs> That's gonna look funny, huh? 